Here's your closing bell. The Dow soaring almost 135 points. The S&P 500 added 52 points, and the Nasdaq gained 267 points. These gains on Wall Street were capped by stronger-than-expected U.S. jobs numbers for January. Hiring accelerated, but layoffs in the private sector surged. Here's Edward Lawrence with a breakdown of the numbers. The administration boasting about the report, saying this is Bidenomics. The last time the economy created more than 353,000 jobs was a year ago, January 2023. This adds fuel to the fact that the Federal Reserve might not cut rates in March. They have to be careful with these numbers because this marks a yearly rebenching. So these numbers may be a little skewed, and this report does not carry as much weight as others. Still, this is why the Labor Department has the issue here. Listen. This 353 headline number just underscores the point I made about the wild seasonal adjustments for the month of January. Again, when we flip the calendar from December to January, the economy loses 3.2 million jobs as all those holiday workers um, disappear. And the ability of the BLS to measure that with any fine point is ridiculous. And I think this number will be revised lower. You can see the trends, though, in this report. For example, government hiring, again, one of the top four sectors of job growth. Over the past three months, government has hired an average of 40,300 people per month. Now, career firm Challenger Gray and Christmas found planned layoffs jumped 136% from December. And January marked the lowest planned hiring for companies since 2000. When the measure began, we've seen layoff announcements from a number of companies. The reason a forecasted economic slowdown and increased costs from inflation. We've seen layoff announcements from a number of different companies uh, Amazon, Google, Macy's, BlackRock, and more. Is 2024 going to start this wave of layoffs? That having a good job makes all the difference in the world. And so that is why, you know, the jobs report that crushed expectations is something that um, we are happy about and is a sign that we should keep on going. And we'll have to see exactly how much of an effect the announced layoffs have in the next jobs report next month at the White House. Edward Lawrence, Fox Business.